What's the deal, y'all? It's your man, Ease. I want to take some time to speak about three stacks. Andre 3000. Got a new project out. New Blue Sun. And a lot of people up in arms. What I will say is that as an artist, he has the right to do exactly what he wants to do, right? Spread his wings, play flute, play bass if he wants to, cello. That's up to him. He can express himself in any way he wants. My biggest issue with it all is that he made comments about not having anything to rap about or what is he going to speak about as a 48-year-old man. Think, oh man, he's just sitting sitting on raps or like he's just holding or holding these raps hostage. Like, I ain't got no raps like that. Like, it's, it's it actually feels, sometimes it feels inauthentic for me to rap because I, I don't have anything to talk about in that way. Like, I'm 48 years old and not, not to say that age is a thing that dictates what you rap about, but in a, in a way it does. And like things that happen in my life, like what do you talk, like I gotta go get a, a colonoscopy? Like what do you, <laughs> what, like what do you rap about? You know what I mean? Like my eyesight, my eyesight is going bad. Like, But you're not, you're not just any rapper. Like you're a, a top five top, you know, to many people. To me, it's like you're basically being like, I have a very beautiful sports car in the garage, but I choose never to, to drive it, you know? Which is, which is your talent. Talent is one thing, but honestly, it's, I think timing and momentum is more important than talent and the energy of it. Like talent, it's a lot of people with talent. And we're seeing that now, like there's so many dope people on the internet like that are just raw, but it's your timing, is what you're talking about. It's if you're catching the zeitgeist of what's happening in the, in the world. And like, my goal is I wanna connect. That's corny, let me tell you why. Because when you speak like that, you give outside forces or people who may not be, I don't know, accustomed to the culture, ammunition. Having them think there's some type of cap on the age in which you can rap. And that's nonsense because I ain't never heard Stevie Wonder speaking like that. Diane Warren don't speak like that. Prince never spoke like that. David Foster don't speak like that. Babyface don't speak like that. So why in hip hop are we even doing that? Why? I, I don't understand it. I don't, I, I just don't get it. And it's hip hop 50th. So when you speak like that, it's a 50 year celebration. The South got something to say, but yet you're stating that you don't want to speak about certain things because of your age. It just didn't make sense to me. It's kind of counterproductive, but making music outside of hip hop, instrumental albums and all that, that's fire to me because there's a producer out there who's probably looking for samples to chop up and you provided them with something. Or is a, a mood where some people want to listen to instrumental music. I like instrumental albums. I'm never going to front on him concerning that. But another problem I have is that you got people comparing the Nas situation to him. Yo, you see the run Nas went on? First off, this is where we go wrong. Stop comparing those two. They should never be in the same conversation. Three Stacks is nice. He is. But the resume don't hold up. It doesn't. The difference between the two is Three Stacks is judged on potential. Nas is judged on results. As long as Three Stacks never puts an album out, you'll still have millions of people stating that he's an artist. He's nice. We know he can pull it off. He can rap, which he can, which he can. But he doesn't have a solo discography to back that claim up with regards to completing a, an entire album. It's easy to do one-offs. Let me refrain from saying that. It is not easy to do one-offs because the execution rate is rather high. Can't take that away from him, but it's different from getting in there and coming up with a 12 song LP, which was condensed down to 12 songs after you done recorded probably north of 50. Sequencing, getting the right producers in there, speaking on an array of different things. That's different. And that's what Nas is judged on, full bodies of work. We are judging Andre Three Stacks off of potential. So that's why I'm baffled when people have him in top five because what has he done to prove it? He's nice, never taking that away from him. But y'all gotta knock it off. You have to. Shout out to Three Stacks. Kudos to you for doing what makes you happy, creating the album that you wanted to put out, learning a new instrument, stepping out on faith and, and just relying heavily on your talents. 
and not caring about what other people think because there, there's something to be said about freedom, you know? Not being a prisoner to other people's thoughts. But the statements that you're making doesn't help hip-hop in any way. It really doesn't. Let me know what you think in the comments section, man. It's your man, Easy to Easy Experience. I appreciate all of y'all out there, man. Go get your yeah. Hey, yo, Easy.